This right here is the most expensive triple portable monitor that I've checked out out of the four or five that I've seen. It's a 15.4 inch with a 1080p IPS panel. I feel like they should have had like a higher resolution for this one or something along those lines. Inside the box, you get the main box and this carrying case travel bag, which is nice. In the box, it mentions you should have a laptop that's 13.5 to 18.1 inches, height is 9.4 inches, and the thickness should be less than 0.32 inches. There's this Get Connected Frequently Asked Questions pamphlet, along with an email to contact in case if you have any problems. Two screen protectors, the portable monitor itself, which is not as heavy as I thought it would, it would be, not what I was expecting, which is good, of course. And then all your extra HDMI cables, USB cables to connect it, carrying a cloth, among other things. On the back here, you have a kickstand that can extend to help prevent it from like falling flat or your laptop falling down because this is gonna be top heavy. This weighs a few pounds because it is a large screen or two large screens and you just place it on your laptop. Man, it's so big, I can't even fit it in the frame. Let me adjust this real quick. So here's how this looks. This one can be folded back all the way up to like about a 90 degree angle. And this one can come in forward by a couple degrees, but no further than this. And it can go all the way back when you want to close it. And then on the front here, it extends to place on your laptop. This slides in perfectly on my laptop. All you do is just extend it, make sure it, it aligns, and then bring it down. If you need to close it in place, you can kind of lock it in there and now it's in. But it's very top heavy. Well, actually it's holding up pretty decently. Gonna go back a little bit more. Oh, it looks like that's the limit. So that's where you're gonna need the kickstand to come in. And the kickstand is holding it in place now, like so. Here's how you connect this to your laptop. You have to get an HDMI adapter, dual HDMI adapter. The one I have is gonna work for my laptop and it might differ for some people. You plug this into your laptop, then plug the two HDMI adapters or cables and you should be good to go from there. And there you go. Now it's all connected. The first thing I noticed on the panel to the left is that it's a little harder to see and there's not much sunlight out actually. If you take a look outside, it's, uh, it's not really sunny out. I mean, it's not dark either, but still, you can see this one pretty well for what it's worth. But then going back to this, it's like, it feels not too flushed out because it is IPS. So colors will be kind of vibrant, but the brightness needs to be a little bit more than 300 nits, I'd say, especially for what this goes for, in my opinion. IPS means you won't have problems with viewing angles as well as watching videos at full HD 1080p. This is a 1080p uh, resolution on here gigabytes of internal storage. Here's what you get in the box. Like I said before, I like the IPS screen being on here. I wish it was a little brighter. Uh, 1080p is not a big problem to me or concern. And the screen being that big is actually pretty fitting in its own way. It's easier to navigate around because you have a bigger screen, of course. With the smaller screens, they're also decent, but the problem is, is if you have uh, trouble with eyesight, it's gonna be harder to see everything. This is much easier because it looks just like your screen here. But that's really what it has going for is the big screen. If your eyesight isn't that good, then this does make sense to get if you need a triple portable monitor. If you multitask a lot, it's better to have three than two or one. This is definitely beneficial for that. Outside of that, it's like hard to justify it. I mean, granted you can game on here. Let me just pull something up. Okay, I think this is like a Wipeout Fusion type of game that I'm playing here. And as you can tell, there's no major lag or whatever. It's 72 up there. And the problem with that is that this is this only has a 60 hertz panel. Nonetheless, if this was stuck at 60, it would look a lot smoother. And I'm not, I don't know exactly how to change the graphic settings on here. So I'm not really gonna worry about it too much, but nonetheless, yeah, you should be able to play single player games, no problem. If you're gonna be looking at more graphic intensive games or not graphic intensive but if you need like more than 60 fps like 120 when you're going to be playing fps or something like that you're definitely not going to want to get this that's not what this is meant for it's just to show you that yeah this can handle some form of gaming it can it's kind of like an all-arounder it's nice to have as a secondary or third monitor but your main one should be should have it in some ways it's a little hard to justify all this i mean don't get me wrong it's great it's nice to have a big screen 
but they do sell ones with smaller screens and it goes for a little less, like a 14 inch Vopo monitor. You can probably get it for maybe a hundred or so less, but this is on sale right now. They did give me a coupon that I'll have down below as well as links as to where you can get this. So let me know what your thoughts are. Would you get this? Is it still too high? Being about $600, I think with the coupon, it's gonna be a little bit less, but I'd love to know your thoughts either way. Let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more. As always, thanks for watching.